All right, we have breaking news out of Yosemite as well tonight. A firefighting plane crashed on a cliff and burst into flames. This all happened in the El Portal area near Highway 140. The air tanker was fighting what's being called the Dog Rock Fire. Andrea Borba is standing by near the fire and the crash site now. Andrea? Well, Ken, people here in El Portel watched in horror as the plane crashed this afternoon trying to put out that fire. Just an hour ago, we learned that emergency crews finally reached the crash site out here in some very, very rugged terrain and have confirmed that the pilot, the only person on board that plane tonight, is dead. Here is a still picture of the flaming wreckage just after impact. The crash site is near the top of a 2,500 foot cliff. The plane was being used to fight the Dog Rock Fire just inside the western edge of Yosemite National Park. Witnesses said the plane looked like it went out of control and came straight down. We immediately dispatched out emergency personnel uh, to the location that where we had last contact uh, with that aircraft. Now, uh, the uh, area where the, the aircraft was last uh, seen is a very remote, very difficult to make access to. As for the fire itself, it has burned 150 acres. 60 homes in the town of Foresta have been evacuated as a precaution, but so far no homes have been damaged. Now, the family of that pilot injured and killed in today's crash has requested that his name be withheld, Ken, until the rest of his family can be notified of what happened out here on the western edge of Yosemite. Live in El Portal, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. All right, Ken? thank you for that report. By the way, that tanker that crash looked uh, just like this one here. It's an air tanker Grumman S2 tracker. Cal Fire has 26 of those airplanes. The oldest is about 60 years old.